Okay, if I remember right, years ago I replaced these rotors. I remember there was an issue here. These are in two pieces. You got the rotor and then you got this thing right here. To separate the two, you got to pull the screws out or press the studs out. You see the studs are in there, the back of the studs. This is your tone ring for your ABS brakes. This thing has to be pulled off. And according to my book, if I remember right, you're not supposed to reuse these. They're unreusable. You're supposed to put a new one on there. But I think uh, at the time we reused the old ones. I want to take these over to O'Reilly's and have them turned. Hopefully, I don't have to just disassemble all this stuff. Well, there was another frustrating trip to Craig and O'Reilly's. This morning they said they could turn rotors. Yeah, we turn rotors. So I take my rotors in there. And they're like, oh, we don't turn those kind of rotors. We don't have the adapter for that. There we go, Craig and O'Reilly's. Let me down twice today. This is getting pretty common at Craig and O'Reilly's. So, I guess they're going back on just like that. All right. I didn't want to put these rotors back on without turning them, but you know, what options do I have? At this point in time, the sun's going down. I don't want to be here all weekend doing this. So, as you can see, or can you see? Let me, let me, let me uh, there, can you see now? Can you see now? I resurfaced them, resurfaced them myself, all right? Now, um, probably wondering how, I mean, it is not perfect, but I think it's better than nothing at this point in time. Uh, basically, what I did is I went out and I got myself a, hmm, I went and got one of these, uh, not a grinding wheel, but some kind of metal finishing wheel, flapper wheel, and uh, perfect. Put it on my grinder, and uh, so I don't really have, it's got a very little lip on the edge here, not big, so. And it's fairly smooth, they're not worn out or ground, or got ridges in them or nothing. They were a little glazed, and now they're a little roughened up. I can actually feel the little roughness in there. So. You may not agree with my methods here, but um, that's the only thing I can think of doing right now. Because I doubt I'm going to find a shop open to uh, turn these for me on Sunday. So I'm going to do this one right now. Here's my little, my little grinder here with a brand new wheel. I'm using like one wheel per per disc here, or per rotor. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. That'll teach you to wear gloves, huh? Damn. Alright, this is what this should look like. Got the new races in there. The new race. I actually had to, uh, there's tools made for this stuff, but I usually just, uh, tap them in, pound them in. Uh, one way to do it is to use your old race for a uh, tapper, what do you call that? Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. As long as you can get a socket that'll fit on there just right, like that, right there. And what you got to do is pound it in there till it uh, nice and even too. You know, don't get all crooked and stuff. You know, dope. But you got to get it in far enough so it seats. So it's drive it in until it seats, and you got to make sure. You better make sure it's in there all the way because these are in the tolerances. So anyway, I got to put the seal on there, and as you can see. So anyway. Here's my Timkin um, seal. But if you look on the back here, made in Indonesia. Indonesia? Don't we have Americans that work here in the United States that need jobs when we're shipping these from halfway around the world? Well, I don't get it. The American working man is getting sold out. Corporate America, the Republicans, Democrats, bankers, they're just screwing the working man. I hate buying stuff like this. I really feel bad putting stuff in like this. It's just... Because I know I'm putting somebody out of work here in the United States. One of my neighbors, maybe? And they don't even fucking fit. <sighs> yeah. Nope. Wrong part figures Jeez Louise You can't trust anybody these days what the heck Let's see where these bearings are made that was one of my reasons for buying Timken. Yeah, these are USA at least. See it right there. Right there. Well, I guess we're done here. Got no seals.